this lesson is going to talk about pressure ulcers. Now, this is a hot button topic in the hospitals because it is hugely preventable. If your patient does get a pressure ulcer while they're in the hospital, that's called a sentinel event, which means the hospital does not get reimbursed for that patient's care. A pressure ulcer, also called a bed sore or a decubitus ulcer, is a wound or ulceration caused by prolonged pressure on tissue. The longer that it's uh, pressure is there and the more the pressure is, the more severe the wound is going to be. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Now the most common areas for these to form are going to be over bony prominences like the sacrum, the hip bones on the sides, the elbow, the occiput. This is when people miss a lot. They forget to look at the back of the head. Um, as well as the heels. Those are the most common places that we look. The other place that's really common is under devices. So things like a nasal cannula, a Foley catheter. So make sure you're checking every single one of these sites. Now, when it comes to staging, most facilities require a specialty training as a wound ostomy continence nurse to be able to officially stage a pressure ulcer. And that is mostly for legal purposes. Because of the financial thing, they don't want you calling it a stage two when it's not. So a stage one is an area of redness that doesn't blanch. When I say blanch or blanchable, I mean you push your finger into it and it turns white. So if it doesn't turn white, that is considered a stage one. The key thing here is that the skin is intact. Stage two is partial thickness loss of the epidermis only. So you're going to see it, it's going to be a pink or beefy red. You're going to have a little bit of loss of um, the top layer of skin. You might even have a blister, but it's a superficial wound. And stage three is full thickness loss of the skin, both the epidermis and the dermis down into the subcutaneous tissue. So that's as far down as you've gone. You shouldn't see any muscle or bone in a stage three. And then stage four is the worst. You're gonna see it goes all the way through the muscle and typically down to the bone. So you can see there's some bone here showing. Now, one thing to note in both stage three and stage four is you might see this yellow um, substance. It's called eschar or slough. And that is just dying tissue that needs to come off. The other thing in stage four that you might see is undermining. Undermining is when you start seeing the edges roll actually their wound goes farther than we think. The other thing that we could see is tunneling and it is exactly what it sounds like. There's a tunnel. And so right here is a good example. I could probably stick a cotton tip applicator in there, maybe two inches. It's really, it's deeper than the actual wound itself. Those are the tunnels. So we need to make sure we're assessing those when we see pressure ulcers as well. Hey guys, Todd from nursing.com here. Let us know what topics you'd like to see videos on in the comments section below and we will review those as we plan new content. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.